Yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really bout this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Yo, what is good, J.I. Squad, and welcome back to it again, another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger video. Matter of fact, a recently highly requested video. As you guys can tell by the title in the thumbnail, today we're going to be talking about my carbon fiber trunk and how easy or hard it was to install it. Now, if you guys didn't see the installation video, um, then, you know, you can either go back and check it out or you can stay here and just, you know, kind of pay attention. But basically, everybody's been asking me, was it hard to install the trunk? Was it easy to install the trunk? And I'm going to keep it a buck. It wasn't hard, but it was most definitely tedious. It is a very tedious job. You have to have patience and you have to be able to use a Dremel and power tools for real, for real. Now, as you guys can see, we have the carbon fiber trunk here. It looks phenomenal, looks amazing, accents the car very, very well, considering all the carbon fiber that I already have on the car. It looks phenomenal. Yes, now, was it easy to get this joint on? <laughs> well, let's get into it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop the trunk here. And as you guys can kind of see, we have the third brake light in. We also have the mat that goes on the back of the trunk, but we don't have the bump stops and we don't have this black interior piece that goes in on the trunk that goes around the latch. Now, why is that you may ask? Well, let me tell you. <laughs> so basically, man, when you get these trunks or anything carbon fiber that is gonna be this big of a carbon fiber piece, just be ready to have to make modifications to said piece because of the simple fact that especially with anderson composites all of these pieces are made by hand per order so with that being said they are put through a machine for all of the bolts and hardware and all of the holes to be cut out now the issues that i found myself having were as follows a this little latch right here for whenever you're locked inside of the trunk was not cut out so i had to go ahead and go through with a dremel and make a hole in the trunk where the old one was to be able to attach this lever right here now b get into this part right here whenever i was closing my hood now it's gonna be different for you guys or it might be the same for you guys like i said they're made per order so on my specific trunk, whenever I would close my trunk, it would be hitting right here up against the plastic. Now I tried to go through with the Dremel and drill it out until it was able to clear, but I just kept having issues. So I just said, you know what, screw it. Nobody ever sees this. I'm just gonna leave it exposed. The next issue that you're gonna run into, well, that I ran into was the hole for the third brake light. Now, basically the hole for this third brake light is made to be smaller from Anderson Composites. Why you may ask? Well, basically these third brake lights on the six gen Camaros are basically held in by double-sided sticky tape. Yes, they have little brackets on them with Torx bit screws that are tightening them down, but it does not hold the light in place. So what you have to do is you have to take that Dremel and you're literally going to have to narrow this down well open up the gap to be able to fit your third brake light in yes you heard me right you're gonna have to take a dremel to your brand new piece of carbon fiber that was mad expensive trust me i know i was mad worried about doing it but it has to be done in order to get your third brake light in because if you don't do it it's not gonna fit i went ahead and i shaved it down and was able to get it to you know what i'm saying go ahead and fit it holds itself in place just make sure that you don't go too aggressive on that because if you do you might make the hole too big you might run into the gap being too big and now your third brake light kind of falls inside of the trunk instead of sitting in place like this one does 
sorry for all the road noise y'all um now there's that there's also like i said making the hole for this but let's get to the bump stop and all of this, this shroud actually this shroud i literally as you guys can see where these holes are that are not plugged in by push pins they're not drilled out from anderson composites so what you have to do is you're literally going to have to take a drill and you're going to have to drill into <laughs> yes yes i know y'all i know you're going to have to drill into your brand new carbon fiber trunk to make said holes so that you could put this on i know i know i didn't want to do it but you have you have to it's the only way that you're going to be able to get this piece on and it's the only way you're going to be able to get that on is by cutting it so just trust me go ahead and cut it now i cannot stress this enough some people for their trunk latch they had to cut it to get it to work now with the trunk latch how it works is there's little slits in the trunk that are like l-shaped so the bracket goes in and then it slides to the right to lock in place now the issue with my trunk and i'll put pictures up on the screen the holes were literally off by two centimeters so the holes to screw in the latch there was one hole here and there was one hole like down there now with that being said what i had to do was i was not able to put it in the little divots and lock it into place I literally had to take the screws and go ahead and tighten them down with the latch installed and just have it sitting above said locking mechanisms. Now, with that being said, man, you know, you can decide to cut out that hole a little bit and be able to fit the latch in, or you could do what I did and not cut it at all and just try putting in the screws and then seeing if the latch will actually allow the trunk to close. Now, you can also kind of finagle with this part of the latch as well you can loosen these bolts up and move it around a little bit until it allows you to close the trunk but i personally did not feel like doing so another thing that i want to go ahead and talk about is actually these struts now your stock hood is about 50 pounds this trunk is 13 pounds so these struts are super aggressive for this trunk i still went ahead and put them on some people don't you know what i'm saying you don't have to i decided to go ahead and put them up because they were already on there and i like to have this like soft clothes see what i'm saying one thing that you will notice with the carbon fiber trunk is the simple fact that once you hit that unlock button like i just did normally your trunk will pop up and allow you to know and that you know tells you yeah my trunk is open but since the trunk is so light when you hit that unlock button, it doesn't like pop up or nothing. It stays flush, but it is open, okay? That's just something to mention, you feel me? Now, going into kind of, you know, Houston, here we are, you feel me? It rained and I also had to wash the car. I will let you guys know, I have no leaks at all, no problems with water getting inside of the trunk. It fits perfectly after I made those modifications and I didn't have any issues. Now, a lot of people have been asking me this in my DMs, how hard was it, how easy was it? And then I've been on YouTube myself for these installs and nobody's talking about this. Everybody makes it seem that once you get this part in the mail, all you have to do is transfer the latch and transfer over the shroud, bolt it up to your car. That's not the case at all. Just be ready to make some minor modifications to this trunk to allow it to fit onto your car. Now, the end result, as you can see, is phenomenal. It looks great and I am in love with it, honestly. It came out amazing. I couldn't ask for any better finish. One thing I will let you guys know is when you guys get this in the mail, be sure to open this in front of whoever is delivering it. If you find any blemishes or anything like that in the clear coat, in the weave of the carbon fiber, do not take delivery of it. Thank me later. Because if you take delivery of it, Anderson's Composites is very, very, very hard to deal with as far as making returns and exchanges for damaged products. So do not take delivery of it. It'll speed up the process. Trust me, take my word for it. I got this information from my guy, Matt, over at Wild Hammer. He was not lying. Just even if the dude wants to leave it and go, tell him, nah, bro, I got to open this in front of you. Simple as that. Make them stay. Make them help you open it if you want to. Either or will work. But trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Do not 
let him drive off and then open it. You see what I'm saying? But yeah, man, other than that, Literally, the mounting brackets mounted up perfectly for me. I had no issues there. All of this was perfect. The only issues I had were the holes that were not drilled through. So with that being said, if you're good with a Dremel or you know how to use a Dremel and a drill, then you'll be fine to do this installation. But if you don't and you're not comfortable, please take it to a body shop or somebody that you know local to you that is good with that and let them do it. Because at the end of the day, we spend a lot of money for carbon fiber and we love our cars. I know it. You don't wanna mess this up. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, if Anderson Composites sees that you went through and tried to drill it and did this and you messed it up, they're not gonna take it back in a return. They're not gonna exchange it. And you're just gonna be stuck with a broken piece of carbon fiber and nobody wants that. So there you guys have it, man. It's a really quick and simple video just talking to you guys about the install. Just a couple tips and tricks, I guess you guys could say, when it comes to installing this carbon fiber deck lid. It looks amazing to me. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. That's gonna wrap it up for today's video though. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications. Like I said, drop a comment in the comment section down below. And um, let's go ahead and roll that outro. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.